Hi guys, welcome to Language Arts. Um, so today we're gonna finish our book, Malcolm Little. Um, and we only have two pages left, so we don't have very much um, left to read. So we are gonna finish this book today. Last, uh, on Wednesday, when we finished reading, um, excuse me, we saw Malcolm and he was in his class at his school and his English teacher asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up. And Malcolm very confidently said, I wanna be a lawyer. But his English teacher did not think that um, African Americans should have dreams and hopes of having these amazing jobs or doing these amazing things that white people do all the time. Um, and so he, Malcolm was like, listen, I'm just not gonna listen to you and I'm gonna do what I know I can do. Okay, so that's where we are now. So let's go ahead and keep reading. So the, we left off, um, and it says, whenever Malcolm would tell a story or a joke, the kids would all gather around, their eyes fixed on the charismatic boy who was clearly different from them, but someone whom they adored and respected just the same. The little boy who had lost so much was now ready to face the world. And then one day, something extraordinary happened. Malcolm Little, the boy who was raised on the vision of freedom and justice, was elected class president by the students in his seventh grade class. When they looked at Malcolm, they no longer saw a mournful child lost in the world. Now they saw a smart, insightful, charming winner. They voted for a leader who believed in equality and who radiated optimism. Their open-mindedness symbolized hope for generations to come. See him with his class. Malcolm may have lost his family, but he never lost the values for which the little family stood. And for the rest of his life, whenever doubt, sadness, fear, or pain would come creeping into his thoughts, he would firmly hold on to the one constant force that always gave true meaning to his family life, love. I really liked this book. I hope you enjoyed reading about it too. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do our worksheets. All right, so you'll click on the post-it note and we're gonna read The Clown today. So go ahead and pause the video. You guys can take turns reading a sentence or two at, the, at a time and then we'll come together and will answer the questions. All right, let's read it together once through again, um, and then we'll go through all of the questions. The clown had a round, sparkly ball. It was his favorite ball. The clown did fancy tricks with his ball, he liked to sit on his couch and catch the ball in his mouth. But the clown had a problem. His favorite ball was lost. He took a shower and went to town to buy a new ball. He was happy to trade his crown for a new round ball. When he got home, his old ball was found. Now he has two sparkly round balls. All right. So 
Um, we're going to save number one and two uh, for the end. So let's answer question number three. What does the clown like to do with his ball? Go ahead and pause. You're going to find the answer in the story and then we'll talk about it together. All right, let's see. What does the clown like to do with his ball? Hmm. He liked, that's what we're going to be looking for. He liked to what? To sit on his couch and catch the ball in his mouth. So we can say, what did he like to do with his ball? Catch it. Let's get to see my awesome handwriting again. Catch it in his. Sorry, you can hear the cat. Sorry. <laughs> I know Miss Ashley's going to rewrite it nicely, but all right. What does the clown like to do with his ball? Catch it in his mouth. There you go. All right. Let's go to number four. Why does the clown go to town? Um, go ahead and pause the video. You're going to find the answer in the story. Why does the clown go to town? All right, let's see. So he took a shower and went to town to buy a new ball. So why does the clown go to town? To buy a ball. All right, go ahead and pause the video so you can write your answer and then we'll keep on going. All right, what did the clown trade to get a new ball and have you ever made a trade? So let's answer this first part of the question first. Go ahead and pause the video. You're going to find the first part of the answer in the story. What did the clown trade to get a new ball? All right, so in the story we see he was happy to trade his crown. He was happy to trade his crown. Okay, so we'll write that in a second. Um, but have you guys ever made a trade? So a trade is when you have like an object. So let's say I have some hand sanitizer and you have, what do you guys like to put? You have slime. Okay. So I have hand sanitizer and you have slime. And I say, hey, I will trade you this hand sanitizer if you give me your slime. So. I'll trade you hand sanitizer for slime. I'll give you this if you give me that. Okay, so have you guys ever traded anything? Go ahead and pause the video so you can tell me. I will go ahead and write our first part of the answer and then you guys can write if you guys have made a trade. So you say yes if you have. You say no if you've never done that. And then um, you can tell me what you traded. Did you trade a ball like the clown? Did you trade a toy? Did you trade food? What have you traded? So I'll write the first part of the answer and then you guys can answer the second part, okay? So what did the clown trade to get a new ball? He was happy to trade his crown. So we're gonna write he 
gonna try to write. He traded. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. His crown. Okay, so he traded his crown, and then you guys are going to come up with this answer. Have you ever made a trade? This answer is not in your story. It's in your brain, okay? And you're going to tell me, yes, if you've ever traded, like I tr asked to trade hand sanitizer for slime, right? Have you guys ever traded chocolate milk for white milk or white milk for chocolate milk? I know that that's happened right so think of something that you've traded you can pause the video you'll write your own answer um, I won't be able to write that for you and then we'll do number one and two together all right so number one says to circle all of the our words spelled O U so you might have noticed while we're reading, we have a lot of ow sounds. The clown had a round sparkly ball. So there's two ways though that you see that you can spell ow. We have O-W and we have O-U. So this first one we're looking for are ow sounds with O-U. Okay, so when I'm saying the clown that is O-W, so I'm not gonna circle that yet, okay? The clown had a round, ow. That is O-U, so I'm gonna circle the word round. All right, let's go ahead. I'll give you a two minute timer. Um, I'll give you a two minute timer and then at the, um, and you can find all of your ow, O-U words, okay? And then we'll go through and find them all together and then we'll do number two. So circle, go through, remember, word by word, sentence by sentence, so we don't miss anything, okay? And you're gonna find your O-U, ow sounds. All right, go ahead and start. One minute. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. is up. All right. Did you guys find all of your OU OW words? 
Let's double check. So we'll go through them all together. Remember, if you have words circled that I do not circle, then you need to do what? Erase, erase. Let me see, do I have a, ha <laughs> ha. Erase them. <laughs> um, and if you have, oh, I'm so sorry for the cat. If you have words, not circled that I circle, then you need to go ahead and take your pencil and circle them. Um, all right, so let me get all my things. Sorry, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. All right. All right, so we already found round in the first sentence. We did the first sentence. Let's go to the second. It was his favorite ball. The clown, but that's O-W again, did fancy tricks with his ball. He liked to sit on his couch. Cow, wow, wow. And that's O-U, so we need to circle it. Bing, bing. Um, and catch the ball in his mouth. Oh, you mouth. Ding, 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 ding. Another circle. But the clown had a problem. We're not going to do clown because, again, it's O-W. We want O-U right now. His favorite ball was lost. He took a shower that is out, but it's O-W. Not for us and went to town, again, not all you, to buy a new ball. He was happy to trade his crown, not all not you, um, for a new round, OU, just like up here. So we wanna ding, 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 circle round again, ball. When he got home, his old ball was found. Oh, you, ding, 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 ding. Now, not oh, you. He has two sparkly round, oh, you, ding, 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 balls. All right, so you should have one, two, three, four, five, six words circled on your page. So I'll go ahead and pause the video, make sure you have all these words circled, and then we'll do number two. All right, number two says to underline all of the our words spelled O-W. So now we're looking for ow, wow, 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 wow. Words um, with O-W, okay? So like the clown, and we'll underline clown. So I'm gonna give you another two minute timer, and then um, we can, to find all of the O-W words, O-W, ow, ow words, and then we'll go through it all again and find all of our O-W words. All right, go ahead and start. One minute.
30 seconds. Oh, less than 10 seconds. Uh, time's up. All right. Let's find all of our ow, O-W words. So we did the title, The Clown. The Clown, that's still O-W, had a round, sparkly ball. It was his favorite ball. The Clown, again did fancy tricks with his ball. He liked to sit on his couch and catch the ball in his mouth. But the clown had a problem. His favorite ball was lost. He took a shower, O-W, ding, 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 and went to town, O-W, ding, 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 to buy a new ball. He was happy to trade his crown, O-W, ding, 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 for a new round ball. When he got home, his old ball was found. Now, O-W, ding, 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 he has two sparkly round balls. Don't let this two get you tricked up. I know it has an O and a W, but they're not in the right order and they don't make that ow sound. So we do not want to underline the word two. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words underlined. So I want you to go ahead, you can pause the video, make sure you only have these words underlined and you only have our OU words circled, okay? Don't have any extra words and don't miss any words, okay? So go ahead, pause the video, take your time, and then we'll go to the next page. All right, my friend and I, I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video. You can take turns reading, um, and then we'll read it and put these in order. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. All right, my friend and I, I have a best friend named Fred. On Friday, Fred and I had a lot of fun. We played with Fred's pet frog, Frank. We tried to give Frank fresh fruit, but he didn't like it. Fred and I made a frame for our picture. All right, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to tell me what happened first. All right, first, what happened? I have a best friend named Fred. So what picture goes with your best friend named Fred? Go ahead and pause the video if you haven't already shown the picture, okay? Hold up your picture so uh, we can check to make sure you, you picked the right one. That's right, here we go. Here's our friend Fred. Ooh, so big. So I have a best friend named Fred. That was first. Next, what happened? Somebody read to me what happened next. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, on Friday, Fred and I had a lot of fun. We played with Fred's pet frog, Frank. All right, that's what happened next. So everybody hold up the picture you think shows me about having a lot of fun on Friday and playing with Fred's pet frog, Frank. 
Pause the video, hold up your picture, make sure you pick the right one. All right, we got our next done, okay? Um, then what happened? Go ahead and pause the video and read to me what happened then. Then we tried to give Frank fresh fruit, but he didn't like it. Oh my goodness, pause the video, pick the picture you think goes with then. Yes, then he got the fruit. And somebody read to me what happened last. Go ahead and pause the video. Last, Fred and I made a frame for our picture, okay? Pause the video, hold up the picture you think goes with the last sentence here. Good job, all right, so your sequencing should look like this. First, we have our friends, then we have our frog, then we have the fruit, and then our picture in a frame. Yay! All right, let's go to the next page. You can pause this video if you need more time here. All right, what is our word of the day today? The, good job. All right, so this part you can do all by yourself. You do not need my help for this. When you are ready to write your sentence, you may ask your uh, mom or the teacher in the class to help you write your sentence. But I know you guys can come up with awesome sentences using the word the, and I can't wait to read them. All right, so you can pause the video here if you want this up on the screen. Otherwise, you, once you finish this page, then you are all done with language arts for today. Okay, make sure your name is on all of your papers. And I will see you guys in social personal. Bye.